welcome to this week's video and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Jennifer Lee and I make weekly videos on women's health regarding mindset, movement and nourishment. But what I want to cover this week is motivation and the truth behind it. So one of these things I hear all the time is I lost my motivation or I used to be motivated or I can't find my motivation or this kind of thing. So let me just tell you straight up, you cannot lose motivation nor can you just find it. So this video is all about how you understand motivation and how you can build on that understanding in order to actually reach your long-term goals. So the first thing to highlight about motivation is that in order to change you have to have a desire for the end result that supersedes where you are right now. So you have to be so uncomfortable or so unhappy or so restless or whatever it is, you have to want what's on the end of the journey more than where you are right now. Because without that desire, you're not going to have the fuel or the fire or the reason to pursue the goal in the first place. Okay, so that means that when you're looking into the future at this goal of yours, there should be a feeling that is associated with with that goal that is so powerful that you can't even consider not pursuing it. So that's how you're going to get lasting motivation. But even then, with all these things on place, it can be tricky to stay the course. So I'm going to talk even a little bit deeper into that so that you can start reaching your own goals, no matter what they are. So the first thing I wanna highlight about motivation is that firstly, it won't last. It's a Kickstarter at best. Secondly, you cannot rely on it because it's not consistent. And thirdly, you can't wait for it. It doesn't just come out of the blue. So I have a little bit of a formula that I like to teach my clientele. It is highly effective and it is because once we have the understanding, it's often much easier to get out of our own way. It involves three pieces and they are inspiration, motivation, and discipline. So stick around if you wanna understand more about it so you can finally reach your own personal success. So let's start with inspiration. This is the first piece of the puzzle. So to become motivated, we have to be first inspired by something. So this may be a friend, a celebrity, a family member, a stranger, a book, a movie, you know, anything really. They do something that just lights you up inside and you just have this like resonating feeling from deep within your being that you need exactly what that thing is. So understand about inspiration that all it really is, is like a spark or a trigger or an insight into something that's gonna help you feel healthy, happy, or whole because this is the number one goal of the human body and our human existence. It wants to feel healthy, happy, and whole, and you as a magnetic being will constantly draw into yourself experiences that are a match to that final outcome. So if you think about it like we come onto this earth and we already have this blueprint within us, it's just our job to get the muck out of the way so that we can live to our highest potential. This is what your body fights for, your nervous system fights for it, every day and it's your job to kind of uncover what's in the way of that. And you have more power to achieve that than what you think. So when you feel that intense spark of inspiration, it's kind of like the universe's way of like tapping on the shoulder and saying, hello, you know, there's something there that's gonna help you feel happier, healthier or more whole. So never ignore this inspirational spark. It's very important, it's a guidepost if you will. Following that inspiration is where the motivation kicks in. So let's cover that piece now. So once you have felt inspired, it is highly likely that directly after that, you will feel motivated. That's that feeling that we're talking about when we say I lost my motivation because things are much easier when we feel motivated. But keep in mind, this is just the beginning part of the process towards any goal. The first thing you want to do when this kind of kicks in is to take action. So this is when you're kind of bringing your body along for the ride because without forward movement, no progress can happen. Okay, so what do you need to do? Do you need to call someone? Do you need to get more information? Do you need to join something or go somewhere? Like what needs to be put into place for this goal to start being built upon? So at this stage, when you have that feeling, what I recommend is firstly, to write down very clearly what the goal is. Secondly, try to identify those feelings that you're looking for at the end of the goal. So what is it that you're trying to move away from? And what is it that you're trying to move towards? Is it happiness? Is it health? Is it joy? Is it energy, vigor, vibrancy, love, like 
What are you striving for? Try and identify those feelings and write them down. And thirdly, what will your life look like if this is your outcome? Do you need to eat more healthy? Do you need to join a gym? Do you need to go speed dating? Do you need to join a mother's group? Like, what do you have to do in order to make this goal a reality? What does the person who actually has achieved this goal, that original source of inspiration, what are they doing? That's how you start to frame out what it's gonna look like for you if this was real in your own life. So for example, I'm just gonna use weight loss because this is one of the most common goals of women everywhere. But remembering that this applies to all goals. As for the first point where you're writing down what the goal is, you wanna know exactly how much weight you wanna lose. Exactly what do you wanna look like at the end? exactly how much time do you have to spend on the goal. Then you wanna check if it's a SMART goal. You might've heard this in the corporate environment, which means is it specific? Is it measurable? Is it attainable? Is it relevant? And is it time bound? So can you fill out all of those categories pertaining to the goal? And secondly, what is it about that inspirational piece that motivated you? What did you want to feel at the end? Did that person look happy, vibrant, free, joyful, inspired? creative, like, you know, what is that feeling that you're seeking? And thirdly, what does their life look like? What does your inspirational icon's life look like? How many times a week do they train? How do they eat? How do they live? How do they sleep? Is this something that you want to bring into your own life? Because that's really important to identify as well. So just keep in mind that without clarity around these things, it's very hard to stay motivated because you're kind of losing track of the reason in the first place. So it's a really great idea to like hone in on your inspirational sparks or, you know, insights so that you can start framing it out for your subconscious so that it can start to become a reality. And then you just got to get moving on it and understand that the motivation, it won't stick around. So that brings me to my third piece, which is discipline. So discipline, the least popular of all of these, because it's a little bit boring, you know? It's just that consistent focus that we have where we don't steer off track to our goals no matter how we feel. So our emotions come in, steers us off course, sometimes we then fall into a pit of despair and then we throw everything out the window and we say, oh, I can't do it. You know, but discipline is where you go, oopsies, I made a mistake, I'm jumping back on though because the feeling that I want to feel at the end of it is more important to me than staying where I am right now. So discipline is just picking up the pieces over and over again. It's having the capacity to really look at those roadblocks and try and work through them, try and grow through them so that you become the person who embodies that end goal. So it's the engine that keeps us going. It's the accountability sidekick. It's the internal driver. And without it, you're not gonna get anywhere because as I said, inspiration comes and goes whenever it wants. And you've already had the inspiration, so it's not gonna come back. You know, you might get inspiration for the next piece of the puzzle, but you're not gonna get that same spark again unless you completely throw the whole goal in the bin. And then, you know, a year or two later, the body goes, hey, remember that time that you thought like it'd be a really great idea to get healthier or to go for that new job or to, start dating again or whatever it is. You know, that's when you'll get the inspirational spark again, but you can't rely on it. because It's not gonna stay there forever. And you're not even gonna get that next piece unless you're actually moving. Okay, so discipline is that part that you need when motivation disappears and when inspiration has vanished. And this is where most people kind of slip up. So achieving any goal and staying motivated is about living like the person who has already achieved the goal. So living like your inspirational icon. That's kind of how it comes about. And as an obvious example, you can't eat junk food and not exercise and also lose weight and look stronger. It's, you know, it's not possible because you're not doing the actions that the person who has that end goal body or lifestyle is doing. So that's the inspiration, motivation and discipline cycle or piece that I like to teach people. It works very well. It's also the formula that I follow that's led me to have lots of success in my own life. And before I go, I just wanna point out that it is totally okay if you don't want to achieve a particular goal after you've had a look into it in that way. So if for example, say you set the goal and then you look at all the things that you have to do in order to make that happen, if you then feel like you then contract or like lose your motivation when you do that, this is a sign that that goal is either not intrinsically driven. So it's not something that you want to do for yourself. It might be something that you feel pressured to do based on society. Perfectly normal thing because connection and belonging is one of our number one needs as human beings. But it's very important to explore where your goals come from because if, it, if you don't want to live the lifestyle that that person with that goal lives, then your motivation is going to be impossible. 
because there's no joy and no satisfaction in your daily life. You know, so have a look at the goal you set and if you feel contracted, explore, is that because the goal's not really meant for me? Am I doing it to please other people? Am I doing it to fit in? You know, or does it really feel meaningful to me but I'm still contracting? Then in that case, what you would want to explore before you sort of set about the goal is what's in my way. And a pro tip, <laughs> It's either something you're afraid of or something that makes you feel unsafe. You know, you're scared you're going to lose someone. Are you scared that you're going to stand out? People are going to look at you. Are you afraid you might lose a job or are you going to miss out on connection? Because by following a healthy diet, for example, maybe all your friends like eating KFC every Sunday and you're not going to be able to fit in. So these are all normal responses to chasing goals, which can often affect your motivation as well. So always a really good idea to check if it's intrinsically motivated and also check if there is resistance there despite it being intrinsically motivated. So in summary, inspiration is that spark that leads you towards a path of wholeness, healthiness, and happiness. Motivation comes as the action piece where you're putting that inspiration into forward movement by calling someone, signing up for something, doing some research, setting your goals. And discipline is what's going to keep the dream alive in between the start and the end point, because in the middle, things can get pretty boring, pretty frustrating. And that's totally normal. That's the same for everybody. You know, there's nobody that didn't achieve weight loss who didn't stuff up somewhere along the way. And there's nobody, you know, that runs a business that doesn't wonder why the hell they're doing this. You know, there's nobody who didn't achieve any goal anywhere ever where motivation didn't waver at some point. It's just the discipline. It's the, I don't feel like it, but I'm going to do it anyway. That's one of the biggest pieces of this. Okay, so that's all I wanted to share for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe because I am loving making content. It is actually really inspiring me because I'm getting a little bit of traction now. So yeah, and any topics you want me to cover in the future, let me know and I will do my best to put it into my schedule. I'll see you next week.